Joining us now is the man who produced some of your favorite reality shows and is creator and executive producer of Love and Marriage Huntsville, the king of reality TV, Carlos King. Good morning and welcome to Start Your Day. Good morning. How are you? Yes, the drama, the drama. Oh my gosh. So we were talking during commercial break and I actually just joined BNC from being a local newscaster in Huntsville and I'd see the crew around town at events. But I have to ask you, what was it like for them? Because Huntsville is a really small town. So to just put themselves all the way out there like that in their personal lives, knowing that uh, that uh, you're probably going to run into them. Yeah, no, Huntsville is a very small town, but that's what attracted me to creating a show there because unscripted television is so oversaturated with like Atlanta, New York, LA. And I wanted to really focus on the real people living in these small towns and small areas who have big stories. So when it came to the cast, <clears throat> what attracted me to them was how real they are, how normal they are. And Huntsville is such a rich city. Um, in terms of hardworking individuals who have great success and who decided to still stay in Huntsville and really uproot the community. So it is a small town. The cast have big personalities, though, and it's nice to put the city on the map. Yes, so loved the show, loved the storylines. Um, we know the cast reunites in L.A. They did not know that you were hosting until they showed up. So how did that go over? You know what? Thank God I don't have an ego because <laughs> some of the cast were happy and some of the cast were not so happy. So you get a chance to see the real reactions when they discover that I was going to be the host. You know, the cast who were not so happy with that, they said to me, oh, my gosh, but you know everything and we can't lie to you. And I'm like, wait, would you lie to <laughs> someone else who was hosting? And they're like, yeah, we would. Um, so I thought that was funny. And, and it goes to show you that um, me hosting the reunion needed to happen because it was such a big season that the, the audience deserves honesty and the truth. Um, and because I know where all the bodies are buried, they knew that they could not, you know, lie to me or, or, or try to gaslight me like they do other people on the show. Yeah, I know you were not letting them get away with nothing. Okay, so can you spill the tea? Let us know some of the most explosive and outrageous moments from the reunion. Oh my gosh, Magic. It's, uh, so it's a three-part reunion. Okay. It's the first three-part reunion um, the show has ever had. Um, and that's because so much details we had to discuss. Uh, but in terms of explosive moments, there's a big re revelation with the Melody and Martell story that I think a lot of people are going to be surprised. Um, there's the big revelations with um, Marceau and Tisha. I can't give everything away because I want you guys to watch it, but it's every part of this reunion, something big gets revealed. And the last two minutes of part one, which airs this Saturday, you're going to have your mouth on the floor. Now that's a tease. That's a good tease. Our mouths on the floor. All right, you got us wanting to watch this. Uh, Nikki Minaj, she hosted the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion. How do you think she did? I thought she did a good job. You know, I, I'm a fan of Potomac Housewives. I love the show mm -hmm. um, and I'm a fan of Nikki Minaj. And you know what, Nadja, it was nice to see a big celebrity of her stature admit to watching reality TV because for for so many years, a lot of people felt that, oh, reality TV is so lowbrow, we can't admit to watching it. It's a guilty pleasure. Um, so to have someone of her stature admit that, no, I watch all reality TV, Potomac is my favorite, and to see her host it is one thing, but to see how she was a true fan of the show and knew all the material, knew all the backstory, I enjoyed every single minute of it, and I love Andy Cohen, and he's a, he's the best host ever. Uh, but I would like to see Nicki Minaj come back to at least do one more part. I, I think that should be Potomac's new thing when it comes to reunions.
Well, guilty pleasure, I'm raising my hand, guilty. But love you, love what you do. Carlos King, thank you so much for starting your day with us.